All right, welcome back to the Rush Hour Podcast, a 15-minute podcast where we talk about various Yu-Gi-Oh! topics, and today we're going to be talking about gatekeeping. So I brought this up because lately I've been seeing a lot of comments on my channel, and just in general, not even just on my channel, but in other places too, about Edison and hat format and things like that, and it's become a little toxic. I think gatekeeping is toxic in general. Like I think that ultimately what people are trying to do is they're trying to say that this is ours. It, they take ownership of something that you really shouldn't be taking ownership of or that you literally can't even take ownership of. And they try to claim it and keep people from coming into it. And so what I've been seeing is stuff like, I hope that the Edison players don't come into hat format and ruin it. I've been seeing stuff about like how when people talk about hat format, they'll say, oh, like stay out of our format or it's our format or this person's talking about our format or they're doing content or video for our format and it's like you guys don't actually own a format like that's not a thing like you don't have any ownership over it like like i don't own edison format i don't claim to and it's interesting because i feel like edison as a community is actually the opposite of gatekeeping like we invite people in and we try to get people to play edison format right like don't you typically tell yeah i try to get everyone in yeah. Yep. The more players, the better. I don't know why you would ever want to gatekeep. I don't understand the thought process behind that. Yeah, it's bad. It's actually a bad thing to do because if you gatekeep your format, right? Like if you actually stop people from playing it and make them feel uninvited and it doesn't grow, then Konami is also not going to care about it and it's going to just die. It's going to be another format that people play it for like a month or two, if that, and then no one ever goes back to it or talks about it or, or cares about the content and, it, and everybody just flocks back to Edison at that point, right? Edison just stays as the biggest retro format of all time and we don't get anywhere with any other format i've been actually trying to push for them to even do an, another type of ultimate time wizard tournament like i've even made an entire video saying i thought that the point of the time wizard thing was that it would be different formats and not just edison so i'm i'm your friend like i'm not trying to yeah. get your format even though right i've been very vocal about this half format is not necessarily for me right i don't have uh pleasant memories of the format but that doesn't mean that I shit on the format. Like, I don't hate it, right? Like, I'm not, I think that people, if you enjoy the format, I think that you should play it. If it makes you happy, if you have fond memories of that format, if soul charging people or getting soul charged and all that is your thing, by all means, I want you to enjoy yourself. I want everybody to play any format they want to play. If you like toss, if you like goats, I fucking hate goats personally. Like, it's not, it's just, that is the ultimate not for me format. Like, I'd rather play hat than play goats. But, that I don't shit on the GOAT community. I don't tell them, oh, your format's terrible. You only got one deck. Chaos Turbo runs your format. How do you even play? Like, I don't do that. It's not necessary. Like, I just tell people that's for you. It's not for me. I don't want to play that. Yeah, I can't believe people are even telling you to, like, not touch hat. Like, the fact that you're using your platform to give hat more exposure can only mean more people are going to get into the format. I feel like that's how Edison started, too. Like, kind of, like, on YouTube. Like, yeah, Keegan is the main, like, 100%. dude who, like, started... Say Edison, what you want about Keegan, true. but no, like no matter how you put it, he definitely is a big reason why Edison format is as big as it is now because YouTube and his channel spread the good news. Like that was how I got into it. Then I eventually became a content creator for Edison. You got people like Carpath who were also there very early on, became a big content creator for Edison. And you got Beast Mo, and then there's a bunch of us now. Like there's a ton of channels, and it it only has helped. We've had the biggest retro tournament ever, almost 500 players this year because of all of these things contributing to it, all of us together, working together. No one person owns it though. Like it's not, Edison format doesn't belong to any of us. It's everyone's format. Anyone's allowed to come into it. Anyone's allowed to play it. Anyone's allowed to, if you want to critique it, that's also fine, right? Like you have to be open to critiques. There is a problem that we have in Edison format. There's plenty of problems in every format. Every Yu-Gi-Oh format is flawed in some way, right? We definitely do have a bird problem, right? That is a thing. Like birds definitely are a very dominant, deck type to play and that's black wings and value but also frogs are also a very dominant deck type to play and everybody knows now the big three and everything like that we're not without our issues right i'm not saying that edison format is a perfect format but i also don't intend to tell people to stay where they are and do not yeah. come into like stay playing modern don't come into edison i haven't really seen that but i do i have definitely seen people like complain about like or like talk bad about hat like oh like soul charge it makes hat like complete ass or yeah. like people think maxi infernity whatever like make the format super super bad but like those people are just like i feel like those people just complain to complain and are trying yeah. to gate keep people from having fun in the first place not That's even just true. the format because another thing i'm seeing the other types of comments that i see a lot are i don't know why anyone would play hat format when vegas format is right there and vegas format is infinitely better and i don't even know what vegas format is i actually went to yeah, yc's vegas know. in 2014 but because it was vegas and it was 2014 and i was much younger i was having a great time in vegas and i just showed up to that event with a harpy deck did not take it seriously at all and went o2 drop but i don't actually know what the format is when people say that but 
Yep. A lot of comments are like, oh, Vegas format is so much better. Half format is terrible. Half format is whack. Half format is trash. And I'm like, this is also problematic. Like, can we not be toxic towards other people's enjoyment? Like, I, don't, yep. I just don't understand why it's necessary to be like, your format is awful. My format is better. You should, everyone should play my format. And this is what I, I talked about this in the other episode, though. I said people trying to poach. They're trying to yep. poach people from one retro format to play theirs. I literally said this and it's happening. And I hate how when people try to poach, they're mainly just shitting on the other format whereas they could just you know they could grow their own community for it like for vegas format, for example they could like start posting lists like or like duels or something like show like because i don't even know what vegas format is either yeah zero so like they, they basically what i'm saying is the formats need exposure and you making these hat videos so screw those people who are saying like f frazier for making hat videos you're giving <laughs> the format exposure which yeah. is only good for them. I like don't understand. You're not even playing half format. You're just like literally making videos for it. So I don't. I most still people haven't are crazy. Yeah, I've let Stango play his spellbook deck, and I let <laughs> Luke Feeney play his Gear Gear deck. And the two videos that we've made where we're actually dueling, and I do intend to duel myself in half format. I don't know what I'm doing. It's been ten years. Like I said, I've topped in the format, but that doesn't mean anything now. Like I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't. I don't even remember how to do certain things. Like I have to read the cards very carefully. Yep. We didn't know what Angeli did. We're making all kinds of misplays and stuff like that. And that's just what's expected. But that's also that that makes for good content honestly like people said that the video with me stango and luke all together where we were playing gear gear they said that was one of the best videos on my channel because the chemistry between us was just amazing and people mm -hmm. seeing that makes them be like oh man i kind of do remember this format maybe i want to go and buy some cards for it so we did a market watch video people were asking for a market watch video so i gave them one and i'm doing what my community asked for like again i'm not a hat enthusiast but my community literally says hey do you mind making hat videos it would be great the same way they asked me for tengu videos back in february yep. and back in january when Konami announced that the 3v3 was going to be involving Tengu format. Now, if they asked for goats, I was going to tell them no. But <laughs> because I actually liked Tengu format, I, I made Tengu content. And I still periodically make Tengu content. And I like it because I do like that format. But at the same time, it's still, to me, like I still prefer Edison over these other ones. And again, that's my preference. I'm allowed to prefer another format over whatever one you think is superior and you're allowed to enjoy yours and i want you to have fun in yours just let me like it was funny to me there's like this one meme that i saw a long time ago it was uh, a bunch of people kind of in a group and they're having a blast and it's like they're drawing like little stick figure people they're all like oh man this is awesome i'm gonna i'm gonna activate black world and summon my shore and search and the guy's like i'm gonna soul exchange and substitute you and then this one guy walks up and he's angry he's like this format fucking sucks you should all be playing hat and then there, and then the one guy turns around, looks at him with the black whirlwind in his hand, and he's like, uh, we don't want to. And then he just turns back around and he starts, he's like, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. Sure, attack, yeah. activate effects, some invite you. And then and they just go back to having fun. And the guy who's like angry on the sidelines is still trash talking it. Like, you guys are all dumb for playing that format. And they're just having the time of their life in their own little world. And that's kind of what I feel like a lot of times. Like, we're just having a great time. Like, we're so happy playing our format. But I don't know, people just seem to want to get this, this kind of goes back to... Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole compared to just other card games in general. Like people are like saying, you shouldn't play Yu-Gi-Oh, you should play One Piece oh, or Kana, whatever, you know? True. This this is just that. Like on a smaller scale. It is so, true. Like, it's, you, it's actually wild yeah. when you put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And then I feel like half the reason, and maybe this is completely wrong, but that is definitely the hype, the most hype it's ever been in terms of retro. Oh, for sure. And I feel like half of that is because of you and Oscar's channel. Like, it's just exposure. Like, yeah. it has the most exposure so far ever. And then Oscar and you have been blowing it up a little bit, too. So, yeah, like, I mean, people at my locals have started playing hat. I've gotten tagged on Facebook because I'm still a boomer, so I use Facebook. But I've gotten tagged on Facebook a couple of times with people saying things like, uh oh, Frazier's making hat content should start getting, you know, investing in it now. Or somebody even uh, my one friend, Ellen, she tagged me and said, if Frazier makes hat content popular, like I'm for I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh again because she quit Yu-Gi-Oh completely. But then she saw me post a hat video and literally said, if this format becomes popular because of you, I will literally play the game again. Like, I'll play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! again. I didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! for six years before Edison. Like, Edison got me back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And honestly, that has been one of the biggest joys of my life, getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I'm so glad that I'm back in this game. Like, I I, I don't know what I did. That six-year period to me is like a, a blur now. It's like a void century or something. It's so weird that I even existed for six years without Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! is an amazing game. Like, it's an amazing game. I don't care how old you are. I don't care, like, what life is doing. As long as you take, obviously, take care of your responsibilities and stuff like that. But if you have time to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And you genuinely enjoyed this game at any point in your life, I advise you to check it out again. Now that we have multiple formats, you don't even have to just play Modern anymore. You could actually find find communities hopefully that are inviting for you to play other formats and find something find where you fit in people talk about toss format that's beyond my time i don't know anything about toss format but 
a lot of people will advocate for it and they love it. And I want them to, if that's where you quit Yu-Gi-Oh! maybe after that, and you were like, oh, it got too much after Toss, but you love Toss, there's a Toss community out there. And it's a Toss group. There's there's Discords, there's Facebook groups, there's all types of stuff. And I think that the goal should be to allow people to come in and invite them in instead of shitting on the content creators who are trying to push these formats. No matter how you feel about the content creator, like your personal opinions or whatever like that doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, if that person is actually putting an effort to make videos and stuff like that for the community, it's the, with the goal to grow the community overall. Like I want Hat to get an Ultimate Time Wizard for me. I want Goat. I think Goats deserves it. I think Tango deserves it. I think they deserve to have a solo Ultimate Time Wizard in their format. These formats deserve that because those are the other three that are not Edison that are big. Goats, Tango, and Hat. And then, you know, I'm sure that people will advocate for more after that. But even still, like I just don't intend to gatekeep. Like I've never, my mindset was never ever to gatekeep Edison. In fact, I would say that I'm almost toxic in the other way, but how often I try to tell people to just play Edison. Yeah, yeah, you're like preaching the choir for Edison yeah. for sure. But like, I also thought I was also on a, the boat where I thought if we separate the retro community to hat and Edison it kind of like screws over Edison. And so I was like a little wary of that. But mm -hmm. the more I think about it, like, for example, your friend who said, I'll play hat if this format blows up. A lot of the retro players play retro Yu-Gi-Oh because it's a locked format. We're boomers. We don't have time to keep up with modern every yeah. week. Me monthly meta changes and new cards over and over. Like I didn't play hat, but if hat gets big, I would play hat because it's a locked format yeah. and it's like older. It's not as you know complex. You know, I would I'd play hat. Yeah, once you get a deck, and, that, and that's one of the beautiful things about these formats in general is that once you get a deck, you have it forever. The format is never going to change, God willing. And so, yeah, you buy a Gear Gear deck, you buy a Spellbook deck. And that's what the Market Watch video was saying is like, yeah, once you buy one of these decks, and they're cheap right now too. Like I know that there were buyouts for the high-end stuff and all of that. So but that, that that never matters to me in terms of getting people to play the format. Like if you want to play, you can get a Gear Gear deck for literally less than $100. And that's main and extra and side deck. You can get an entire Gear Gear deck, which is literally one of the best decks that actually just won the last tournament in format library today uh just won it was a gear gear mirror match in the finals you can get one of the best decks in the format for under 100 bucks and you could have it that'll last you forever like literally copy one of the deck lists it'll last you forever so yeah it's I, I don't know it's a weird thing that i've been seeing and a lot of my comments are just strange like i just and it, it's not people that normally comment on my videos which tells me that they're coming from the hat community it's, it's so interesting like it's names that i've never seen before because at this point i read all my comments right i know the people who typically comment on my stuff so when i see a new name i'm always interested in what their opinions are what their thoughts are and people who are saying like oh you know you guys should stay in edison for format don't come over here or just straight up trash talking uh edison format and saying just negative things or or just trying to make it where like hat needs to be its own thing separate from everybody else is is strange energy and then the people who are just shitting on hat for another format like vegas or toss or whatever like whatever format they like they just they downplay hat they're like i don't know why hat is so hype right now because it's awful and everyone should be playing this one like yes i don't like getting infernity'd or i don't like when my opponent goes set gear gear armor set four back row and i literally like it's a, it's also a non game. It might not be an infinity non game where it's blatantly overtly in your face, but if somebody going set armor set for back row in phase gear 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 they have a wiretap set and all this other stuff like it's it's also a non game. Like you didn't actually play the game. You basically got infinity with extra steps right actually probably less steps but with all of those things that are like in my opinion make the format for me not pleasant. It still is fun to a group of people. Some people love yep. that like they love going back because there is back and forth there's skill involved in it i would never say that any of these formats are like less skillful than others or anything like that i think that half format is very skillful i remember again i remember playing the format and it being difficult to top it being difficult to play 10 rounds in these formats uh 12 rounds at nationals that year i'm pretty sure i had to play so format is fine in terms of like there's always going to be skill like there's always going to be skill no matter what but yep every format has its problems we, we every play format has its problems yeah people go turn one, one sure. the more the more people i think the retro community gets together and like gets bigger and bigger even if you're not playing the same format i think it's just better for the retro community overall it's like i kind of think of it like melee like melee was the whole craze that started smash like if yeah. it wasn't for the competitiveness of melee like ultimate would not have its competitive scene I in my agree. opinion so if edison's is big if you just keep getting bigger hat will be big if hat becomes a thing and then whatever happens after that it'll just these people just want to play like old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. And there's some people who will play multiple. Like the, the last thing to say before we wrap this up is like someone like me, right? Who actually enjoys Edison and enjoys Tengu. I play two formats. Like I have a full Tengu. I have two Tengu decks. Like I have a Hero B deck and I have a Tengu plan deck. So I have two Tengu decks 
and I have multiple, I have every Edison deck basically. So I actually have branched out, but the start for me was getting an Edison and that's kind of my point. You want people to get in wherever they get in yep. in retro. So wherever they get in Toss or Hat or Goat or Tengu or Edison, no matter where they get in, once they're in and they're in retro as a whole, Yep. They will they will find their way to other communities because format library is great. I'm on here right now and they have like four main channels: Edison, Goat, Hat, Tengu. Those are the four main channels. But they also just have like these other crazy formats like Chimera Tech, Miami, Shadal, Perfect Circle, and there's just there's a ton. I'm not going to list them up. There, there's Critter and all that stuff. There's a ton. So there's something for everybody. I just think that gatekeeping is a mistake. If you're doing that, please stop. It's toxic and it's not helping. If you want to actually grow your format, whether that's Hat format or any other format, gatekeeping is not the way. That's all I really got to say. I mean, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.